Okay, so I went to a barn sale today after work. So I paid up for this. So I don't know if $125 was a good deal on this dug up out of the ground Civil War Union. That's what U.S. means. United States. Belt buckle. So. Yeah. That's what the back looks like, okay? Alright. So. Um. The antique dealers that were running this garage sale. Um, I thought about this belt buckle for a couple months, so, yeah, so I'm like, gosh, I should get this, because, A, I, I'll say this, I did have a relative that fought for the Union, the North, um, in, in the Battle of the Big Woods, basically, and he lost his arm in, in the war, basically. But, you know, he, he survived that war. So, um, the Battle of the Wilderness is what I think they call it now that I think of it. But, um, this is what my relative would have worn, Isaac. It was his blue uniform. So, typically, with, if you're dealing with Civil War items like this, if they're genuine... And you see them on a yard sale, yes, you're going to be paying quite a bit of money. It, it is hard to determine value on Civil War items. I know, yes, they can be worth a lot. Especially the Union suit can be worth over $1,000, I mean. And the sword, uh, yeah. And I think they sit on American Pickers, the Confederate soldier items are worth more because they're more... Harder to find. But. Please like. Comment and subscribe if you haven't already. To my YouTube channel. And please share the channel. As it will help me get to a thousand subscribers. On YouTube. And thank you for watching. Bye bye now.